Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and excuse the scratchy voice, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning, so I've only just woken up, because you know YouTube's a real job, and i just like to say a huge thank you to the people, well that most of you that understood that the Patreon video was not asking you guys to give me money, but simply saying that you can if you choose to. I know some, some of you misinterpreted what the video was about, but the majority of you actually understood it, which is really good news. I want to quickly just say a huge thank you to Fletched Gaming, Mika Tag, and Kai Fignow. I'm sorry if I butchered any of those names. They all pledged to me on Patreon, and I cannot thank those guys enough for helping me pursue this career, so to say. Because obviously, without them and the people watching my videos, this sort of thing would not be possible. Anyway, I'm playing Mercury. I'm playing Mercury. I've got him Mastery 5, but I haven't played him in like three months. I went off him after they patched the like the radius thing with his one. That's just because I didn't feel like it was um I didn't feel like he was anywhere near as strong as he used to be, so I stopped playing him. That was probably the wrong choice, I know, but still. I'm so glad that I've got a lovely audience supporting me. Because without you guys, this would not be a thing. I would not be... Well, I would be creating videos, but no one would watch them. And I'd just be a fat kid sitting in a room talking to himself. But thanks to you guys, this is possible. And if you are still thinking negatively of my Patreon page, be sure to just go and... There's a link in the description. Just go read about it, and you'll understand that it is 100% optional. And in no way at all, like, obligatory or anything like that. But a huge thank you once again to Fletched Gaming, Mika, Tag, and Kai Vignau, because those are the three people that pledged to me this month, and I can't thank those guys enough. Because honestly, I wouldn't give myself money. <laughs> I'd spend money on other things for myself, because I'm not a generous person. But those, those are genuinely nice people, so I have to say thank you. It is in no way one of the perks that you get from donating, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I feel like you deserve a shout-out if you're, if you're willing to give me money for... Like, not too much. I, like, my benefits aren't really worth that much monetary value. So you to give me money and support me is worth... Okay, I, I'm just going to stop because I don't know how to explain this. Just thank you to everyone. Not just the people that pledge to me, but also the people that watch my videos. Because you are the people that make this possible. Now, I'll move on. I'll get onto the game. I'll play Mercury. This is going to be my build. Warrior Tabi, Deathbringer, Frostbound, Soul Eater, and Titan's Bane. Hopefully we don't do too badly. I'm trying to play safer at the moment. We are drawing. Oh, the sexy clap. I think I got the wave. Wait. I got the clap for Mercury. It's the best clap look. There we go. Oh, you failed. Oh, I failed with that. I feel disappointed. Oh, wait. No, I hit him. Oh, get fucked, you scrub. I'm just going to beat him up. Oh, come on. What is he doing? Oh, yes! We got him! Oh no, that's a Sol ult. Holy shit. Can someone go finish him? He's very low. No? Oh, I'm out. Fuck that shit. <laughs> but I am enjoying doing this so much. I know some of you guys have actually noticed how much happier I am recently. And that's just because we're on 15,000 subscribers. I'm loving my life, I've got a loving girlfriend, and I've got one hell of a loving community around the videos that I make. I invest a hell of a lot into this, and it really does pay off. There are a lot of people that start YouTube and give up, and I was one of those people because I did give up when I first started. But I picked it back up just because I love making content so much, and especially when I have people backing me, because that's what I do it for, I do it for you guys, obviously. I'm out of breath, I'm just too hyped up now, I'm too hyped up. It's really early in the morning. I haven't had my morning, my morning Cocoa Pops. <laughs> that's a joke. Please understand that that's a joke. Although, of course, I enjoy Cocoa Pops. Who doesn't like Cocoa Pops? You don't like Cocoa Pops, you have no soul. I nearly got that kill. Nearly got it. Very close. <sighs> I've been addicted to Fallout 4 a little bit. I did actually make a video on it. It's probably gone out before this. I'm not sure. I recorded it on the same day. But, um, yeah. I made a video on it and I actually got really scared at one point because these these things came out of the water and were all fucking like buggy. I don't like bugs. And I could hear them like like the more I span span around, the more I could hear them in the back of my head. And it made me like 
Ah, uh, it was just disgusting. But I made a video on it, and I'm so glad I managed to have that in a video. Because that, that actually is what made the video... <laughs> made the video entertaining, honestly. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. It was hilarious. Oh, God. That failed. I'll get fucked. I'm escaping out of there. I'm actually... I'm actually pretty good as Mercury. Not, not pretty good. I'm okay as Mercury. You scared yet, Sol? No, you're not even not even slightly scared. Okay. Golden bow is like a thing that I don't see all well every Mercury build, but I feel like it's pretty necessary. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, she's dead anyway. That all was not necessary. Oh well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really shouldn't record my videos in the morning because my voice is all scratchy and horrible. But there are just moments when I feel like I have to play video games and I have to record it for you guys. There is a fly in this room. Just saw it. Of course there is. Wouldn't be an official Frost Fangs production without one. Now, Mercury's passive is pretty cool. But one thing, one thing that if you play Mercury a lot, you'll already know, but you should not jump with Mercury. Because if you see the bar in the bottom left, it doesn't fill. If you're jumping, you have to be walking. So if you're playing Mercury, you should never jump. Because it fucks his passive up. Simples. But I'm so happy that you guys share my content around. I saw it on... I don't go on Reddit that often. I don't really use Reddit, but I saw it the other day on Reddit on like who are your top who are your favorite Smite YouTubers? I can't remember the guy that posted it now. Sadly. But it was like who are your favorite Smite YouTubers? And I and someone posted me up there. Oh my god. What the fuck is that damage? Fuck. Sorry. You guys told me to be myself and swear if I want to swear. I'm going to stick to that because I feel like what is the point in watching a video with me in it? If I'm not going to show at least some of my personality. I know swearing is not just my personality. That's not what my personality consists of. I don't know why I'm continuously talking about things that aren't to do with Smite. Because I know most of you are... Well, some of you are here just for the game. And you will already be annoyed at the fact that I'm not just speaking mindlessly about this video game. No, we're going to talk about everything in these videos. Because why not? No. Fuck you. Oh, she's so low! Neath, if you'd just saved your ult. If you'd have just saved it. Oh, she's going for it. She's got it. No. Oh, wait. Bluestone pendant. Bluestone pendant. No. She ain't got it. She ain't got it. I really do need... I think I should... I'm stuck in between Frostbound and Fatalis on Mercury. I feel like Fatalis works better. But if you get Frostbound, you've got a little bit extra health to back you up. So maybe we should get Frostbound. That might make more sense. I'm not sure. We're going to go with the build I've got set out here. You can get thrown this way. He's dead. There we go. Setups, fam. I got all the setups. Oh, if only I could get there fast enough. Nope, not even close. Ow! You hurt! I'm dead. Yeah, I'm so fucked. Oh, the way he runs in midair before you hit the ground on your death. He just sort of like does this in the middle of the air. Uh, I want to get I want to get Fatalis so I can chase people, but I really do need some extra health, so we're going to have to go with Frostbound Hammer. <sighs> Let me know in the comment section. Do you prefer videos like this where I'm not specifically talking about the game or would you rather I just focused on the matter at hand? So I'm genuinely interested. And also, if you've got any questions for my Q&A, be sure to leave them in the description. In, not in the description. In the comment section with, like, hashtag for the Q&A. Just so that I know it's for the Q&A. Are they there? If she's still there, I can I can get a sexy little dash through here. Get Kumba. Get Kumba Garna. Get him. Accent just came out for real. I'm just joking. It's not my accent. Don't be silly. Most of you know me well enough now. I feel like I've got a decent enough connection with my audience. Did I get the kill? I, like, got halfway through my dash and died. I'm playing pretty badly, actually. I was doing really well at the start, and I've sort of crashed down a little bit. So what happens when I get too hyped up. She's not going to die. Wait, how come we did 111? Oh, she's level 11. Okay, never mind. I was wondering why it did more damage to me than it did to her. Oh, the Jukes. Just hit him with your one. Oh, well, that didn't, that didn't go too well. Does Nisha have... Nisha has Blink. And so does Kumba, they both have blank. I was trying to wait, but there's no point. 
Vulcan's underleveling me, for God's sake. I see you, Sol. I know you're over there. No, we're out. No, I'm not ready for that. No hoop. We are not prepared to take all of that damage. Nope. I mean, I've got level 1 Frostbound. Look at that shit! That's ridiculous! The damage on that is unreal still. It really is. Did that not hit Sol? What the fuck? That's half my health bar every time she uses that. That is not really fair. She has a hard counter to Mercury with her 3, honestly. That's ridiculous, the amount of damage she does. It really is. I'm 4 and 6. I was doing so well at the start. And then I started talking about other stuff and I got distracted. Can we... Can we... None of them are even close to being low. We can't do that. We could and we'd get to the other side and we'd be safe. But there'd be no point in doing that. There we go. She's gonna... Oh, GG. GG, new. 10 out of 10. There goes my fucking health bar again. Rhymes? Yes. Oh my god. There we got full frostbound now, so we've got a little bit more health. <clears throat> don't know how much is I don't know how much that's gonna really affect it. Oh, there we go. I think that went pretty well. My kill. <laughs> I waited. That's the way I play Mercury. You gotta get all the kills. I know he needs feeding, sort of, but so do we. 6-6. Six, six. Let's just get four assists. That'd be perfect. Then we're devil confirmed. Illuminidu. You're going to retreat? We can't push that without minions. Actually, we probably could. I feel really dumb. That was my fault. We could have pushed that. I don't mind. I'll push it now. That was easy. Should we back? Yeah, we should. I got, like, quite a bit of money. No, why am I pressing back again? Oh, we can nearly fully get Soul Eater. Come on, give me that Soul Eater. There we go. The build's actually pretty cheap, the build I got. The only item that's actually expensive in this build is Deathbringer. I don't know... I don't know why this build seems cheap to me. I mean, it's working to some extent. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Ah, oh, that was a terrible joke. Was that even a joke? Can you call that humour? I don't know. No, you're getting completely fucked. What the hell? That's ridiculous. Soon as I land, I just fucking demolish her, though. We're gonna have to use our sexy little ult here. Get wrecked. No! Oh, yes! The plays! Neath did a really good job there. We can probably take their Phoenix. We should... Oh, we can't. They've got minions. Let's take it. Let's take it. Uh, I'm going to get out there. Okay, we're winning. You guys requested Mercury so much, and I'm, I'm kind of proud of how I'm doing now, because I'm doing pretty well. I'm not doing too badly. I'm 8 and 6. That's pretty good. Soul Eater and... I, does Soul Eater give health, too? I think it does. Yeah, Soul Eater and Frostbound are what give you your sus... Your... Your sisters? Your sustainability. Because they give you like an extra 600 health. Which is necessary because Mercury is so squishy. Is he just going to run the other way? Because I could just finish him. A oh, completely unnecessary dash, but we did it anyway. Here we go. Oh no, you're so low! Jesus Christ, the damage on that is silly. That is silly amounts of damage right there. Loving this game. Loving Mercury right now. I'm recalling. Yeah, we should recall. I'm only level 13. I feel like this game's been going on long enough that I should be higher leveled. By the way, if you're going to play Mercury, you should definitely go ahead and get, like, Greater Sprint or something. Because look at look at the power on the bottom left. Boom. Because um, Mercury's passive basically turns some of his movement speed into power. So, getting greater sprint in a fight can actually, like, nearly double your power, I think. This is mine. I'm taking this. You can take the mana one or something. Vulcan, this is mine. Yoink. Uh, we've got so much power. And this isn't even with our passive fully stacked. 
If we were to stack our passive fully, let's see how much we get. Just gonna have to walk around for a little while till it's fully stacked. But you can see our power going up in like huge amounts at the bottom. We've got like, look at that, look at it now. We're gonna get to 600, aren't we? Wow, 650 maybe? No, 640 power when it's fully stacked. Is that power? What is it? I can't remember what that one is. Basic attack, that is. Not power. Wrong thing. We've won this. I'm pretty sure we've won this. It's even on kills, like 15-15. Maybe we haven't won this. I mean, I can sort of contain them there, because if they do walk past that, that barrier, I can hit them. I ran out of breath halfway through that sentence. 10 out of 10. Nope. So I ain't dealing with that shit. We're not going 2v3, especially with Vulcan, the one that's underleveled. Oh. Oh, come on, I have my ult already. There we go, we got the kill. We could really do with taking that. 600, that is a lot of damage. Get fucked. Get absolutely fucked. Excuse the language, but come on. Those plays were, were pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. I'm pretty proud of that. Have we just won the game because of the way that went? I think we might have. Yeah, we have. Wow. That is possibly one of the best smite matches I've had. 11 and 6 isn't insanely good, but I haven't played Mercury in like, like 3 or 4 months. That is genuinely how long it's been since I played Mercury. So, I'm pretty proud with the way that match went. Anyway, it's actually been kind of short. It's like 17 minutes, something like that. Not too bad. Let me show you guys the stats real quick before you leave, because I know some of you are interested in them. Let's see. How much how much damage did I do there? Player damage? Wow, I didn't even do that much. Neath had more player damage than I did. Did I have anything that was top? Not really. Didn't really do that well in the stats side of things. I felt like I did a lot better than that. Anyway. Thanks for watching guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, I will see you tomorrow, and as always, stay frosty.